Good Wednesday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer. You heard it. The explosive interview from singer R. Kelly breaking his silence about the sexual abuse charges that landed him in jail last month. In an emotional interview with CBS This Morning's Gail King, he says all the women now accusing him of physical and sexual abuse are lying. More now on this exclusive interview from CBS's Hillary Lane. I'm very tired of all of the uh, lies. In an exclusive interview with CBS This Morning's Gail King, an emotional R. Kelly denied over and over sexually abusing women. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. I gave y'all 30 years of my around. Robert. The embattled 52 year old R&B star is charged with 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse. Authorities say three of the four alleged victims were underage when the suspected crimes happened. Have you ever had sex no. with anyone under the age of 17? No. Never? No. I have to tell you, it's so hard to believe that based on all that there's, we've read. I'm going to tell you something, the Gail. There's one you, I'm going to tell you something. What women said about you. What women said about me. What women, so nobody's allowed to be mad at me and be yeah. scorned and, and lie on me. Mm -hmm. So they're lying on you. That's your explanation. They're lying on you. Absolutely. 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 23-year-old Joycelyn Savage and 21-year-old Azriel Clary live with Kelly at his Chicago home. What is your relationship with them? I love them, and it's almost, it's like they're my girlfriends. The parents of Joycelyn Savage believe the R&B star has brainwashed their daughter. We went from seeing you or talking to you daily or weekly to not seeing you in two years. So that is a clear indication to us and as a mother that something's definitely wrong. R. Kelly says the savages didn't complain when they were getting money from him. It, it hurts me so much to hear that being said. And um, it, it, it's, it's just speechless. Azriel Clary, the other woman living with Kelly, told King her parents are just looking for money. If you can't see that, you're ignorant and you're stupid. Kelly was acquitted of child pornography charges in 2008. He faces up to 70 years in prison if convicted of the new charges. Hillary Lane, CBS News, New York. And again, the lady seen right here in the red, that is Joycelyn Savage. She's from Atlanta, and her parents are here as well. She and another woman, Ariel Clary, as you heard, are said to be living with R. Kelly against their will. They'll both talk with CBS's Gail King tomorrow, and here's a preview of that interview. I'm crying because you guys don't know the truth. You guys are believing so facade that our parents are saying this is all lies for money and if you can't see that you're ignorant and you're stupid now cbs 46's adam harding is live in decap county and adam you spoke with joycelyn savage's family just a short time ago Karen, right before we went on the air today at noon, I confirmed through a source here at the attorney's office that after that late morning press conference with Joycelyn Savage's family, the 23-year-old apparently broke her silence and called here to the attorney's office. We are still working to confirm this noon what exactly she said and who she may have spoken to. Of course, this comes after the family says for two years they have not seen or heard from their daughter. They are opening up after the explosive R. Kelly interview, making it very clear their side of the story, while CBS News has spoken with Joycelyn. It's disturbing. It was mostly disturbing for all of us. Joycelyn Savage's father today reacting to the explosive R. Kelly interview. His 23-year-old daughter, one of two women who live with the R&B star in Chicago. The family says they haven't spoken to her in two years. I know for a fact my sister is not okay. I know for a fact R. Kelly is mentally destroying her. Joycelyn has before denied she's being held against her will. The family believes she's being brainwashed. Make Jocelyn Savage available to her parents in person in a neutral city or Atlanta, Georgia, so we can have a direct conversation with her about this alleged consensual relationship. Jocelyn, if you're seeing this message, please know that I love you. I'm your mother. I love you dearly. The family says Jocelyn first came into contact with Kelly when she was in college. He was supposed to produce an album for the up and coming singer. People asking, why did you, you know, why did you give your daughter to R. Kelly? The thing is, my sister was working with him for business music 
and only. Today, even her 11-year-old sister is reaching out in hopes of finally being reunited. I feel like she's being controlled by someone that doesn't want to talk to me. We want to see justice. So that right there is Joycelyn's father and younger sister just walking out of the attorney's office here in DeKalb County. He just confirmed to me while the story was running that he spoke with his daughter. This would be the first time in years he has done so. We are working to confirm through our sources what exactly was said. Watch for our continuing team coverage on this developing explosive story in our later newscast. We're live this noon in DeKalb County. I'm Adam Harding, CBS 46 News. All right.